What we have here is a 10 gauge wire made of silicone and we're going to install a field retrofitable stackable banana plug to it. I'm going to omit the soldering for speed of the video. Uh, the benefit of using a 10 gauge wire over a standard 18 gauge wire is for heat dissipation. 10 gauge wire, this 10 gauge wire, is rated at 45 amps. A typical 18 gauge wire is only rated at 20 amps. So it can take a larger load going through the wire and still remain cool. First step is that we'll take the back housing. We will insert the wire through the second hole. You can tell it's the second hole because there's an additional piece of plastic on the first hole. The second step is we're going to attach the banana to it. To do that, there's a hole in the side here of the banana. We're going to push the wire through the side of the hole. And then we're going to solder the banana or the wire to the banana. Then we're going to insert the banana into the other hole, pressing it down firm. The last step is to take the cap or the front housing and insert it over the banana. You'll get to a certain point here where you can feel the restriction of the banana. Just press a little hard and it'll go through. And then you're going to snap it into place. There's a couple of interlocks here that will lock it into place once I press it all the way down into the banana. And you heard the snap and it's tightly secured. So now you can see that you have a field retrofitable end on a 10 gauge wire that rates up to 45 amps. So the first step in doing this is we'll take the uh, back housing here and we're going to slide it through the second hole. You can tell the difference because there's an additional piece of plastic here for the hole you don't want to go through. You attach the banana to it and what you do is you push it through this hole. Once you have that inserted through there, you're going to attach the banana to it. And by attaching the banana, there's a side hole here that you attach the banana to. The second step is we're going to take the banana, attach it to the wire. By doing that, we push it through the hole here on the side, and then you'll solder this. For demonstration purposes, solder. I'm not going to solder it, but that'll you solder it into place. Then you take the banana and the wire and you insert it back into the secondary hole here Just and push down. Place. I said I'm not going to snap it into place because yeah. I don't want to. All right. Um, do it one more time and just talk me through it. You want to talk through? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
sometimes it just flows better one way or another way. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes you say something slightly different, so it's good to get all of the different stuff in. Actually, what I should do is uh, to make this look prettier when I go through it, mm -hmm. I should cut some of the wires. That way it'll go in, because they won't know the difference. Okay. But, because it look, to me it looks kind of sloppy if I didn't get all the wires into it. Right. So, 